Yo, how's it going? Ryan here, and today we're going to be carrying on with Barry. We're on uh, season one, episode six, flying through them, flying through them. It's such a, a bingeable and easy watching show to uh, to get through. But man, we ended the last episode. I forgot the guy's name. I'm completely blanking on his name. But the the bro marine. How is this going to play out? I'm not sure. But I guess like the rest of the show. Let's uh, let's just get straight into it, man. Let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Like, subscribe if you want. Let's go. So this is where the Bolivians are going to land? According to Paco, yeah. I actually think we should knock that shit out in midair. Brute force is a total valid tactic, but I think in this case, maybe going surgical is the better way to go. Keep the suggestions coming, man. All good stuff. <laughs> I love in the composition of that shot. We could just see him. <laughs> just see him in the distance. Little uh, tiny man. This would be a sweet place for a hot tub. Please, stop talking. <laughs> Dude, you're not doing yourself any favors. I'll be in the car. You, you need this is a gorgeous frame right here. Would be a terrible place for a hot tub of hot tub. <laughs> Did Fuchsia say hot tub? <laughs> yeah, he wasn't on board, bro. Man, the cinematography in this is fantastic. You're so creepy, man. You're just so creepy. You were following Barry? You follow him around and be personal photographer? That's connection. Why would you do this? <laughs> you kill my brother? Okay, you need to let that oh, go. My <laughs> you need to let that go. Let me kill him. Are you deaf? <laughs> Leave him <laughs> alone. Damn. He ain't letting it go, man. He wants vengeance. I leave Barry alone. That's going to uh, cause some problems. Oh no, he's going to go after Sally. Sally, watch yourself. She's probably going to regret this straight away. <laughs> oh my God. I got to go to work. Not on an empty stomach. You know, it's our one week anniversary. Oh mate, you are intense. Put me off. This has got to end, honey. Because I've just, I mean, I've let it go too far. I'm still investigating your class. Yeah, a conflict of interest. For three nights, you've come home and told me that everybody is up in your grill at work because you can't let go of this crazy acting class connection. I never set up in my grill. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he would say it. Put words in our mouth. Now, I know that it's only three days, but I'm 47 years old. I am old enough to know a great thing when it comes knocking on my door. It's Bro, f off you ain't 47. If we ran away from this because we were scared, wouldn't that be oh so very sad? Wait, wasn't that other guy 47, the one who topped himself? They weren't just like, have really hard lives in this show. Dude, <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Look what this chick does in this dude's asshole. You know, oh, if you keep it oh. up at this level. There was a, you know, some Vaseline that might help with that. <laughs> so I work for Fuchs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool, right? No. <laughs> I could just see like an ass. I think it's an ass going up and down. No, no, no. no. Well, the way he explains it, that though, scamming you. he's not scamming me, all right? We've been working with each other for years. We're, we're a team. I'm finding it hard to focus on the dialogue with this going on in the background. I need to, I need to focus. But he won't let you? It's not that he won't let me, it's just that he doesn't like me doing other things. <laughs> fucking ace that dude. Yeah, that's not like Taylor. Taylor. I, I, can, I can do that? Well, you do what you want to do. You should get rid of him. Here. He's put an idea into his head now. You take that money, kill Fuchs, live your dreams. That's how much this guy jizzes. Oh God! In shame. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, man. Well, it's me when I got out of the Marine Corps, and uh, I don't remember who this man is. You guys gotta get to school. Fine. Have a good day. Thanks. <laughs> These f***ing fantasies are so surreal. He is unpredictable, though, Taylor. Bro boy, white claw man, he is. Yeah. He's not the kind of guy you want to be working with in this business. I mean, it seems nice enough, but nah. <laughs> he 
is still going on. <laughs> yeah, he turned himself for anyone, man. Hey, I just, I just want to real quick say I'm really sorry I yelled at you guys. Uh, you guys were um, just trying to do the work, and I jumped on your throats, and uh, uh, I was wrong. Everyone's going to appreciate this. We were in a bubble. You've been through something that we can't possibly understand, Barry. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thanks for understanding. Yeah. I like that mutual exchange and apology. Very nice. Very classy. Who wants to bring the Bard's words alive? Script's out. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see that. Why then, just time to do it. She's getting pretty good. Do you mark that? Okay, Barry, hold it before you give yourself a hernia. He's distracted. I really want to see him put in a good performance. You are not listening to your acting partner. Thank you. Stay out of this. I <laughs> I feel like I am listening. You have to listen to the, the attitude, to the tone, to the way that it's being said to you. Just react him, right? She was putting in a, a decent performance to react from as well. I would say. Barry, Taylor, let me know when you want to kill those Bolivians. My schedule's pretty freed up. I cancel most of my appointments. <laughs> what appointments do you have other than watching porn and smoking weed? <laughs> hey, Barry, it's Taylor. Forgot to tell you, I put a deposit down in the hot tub. I figured we could split it 50 50. So what? you owe me 1700 bucks. It's still on the hot tub idea. Go have a word with Taylor, man. He is. Fucking being that in your ass, man. He's <laughs> so regretting letting him live. Listen, dude, you, um, you've been pretty amazing. Uh, really, really great. Such a nice guy, you feel so bad about letting him down. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it by myself, and you're not coming, and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a thing. Uh huh. I couldn't tell if he, he looks like, I don't, there was no expression on his face. I couldn't tell if he was cut up about that or if he was even bothered in the slightest. Come in. I have an idea and it might just be brilliant. What else could you possibly want? Deborah Messing says that you should only play parts that scare you. I play <laughs> Grace from Will and Grace. This is reckless. Look, I just, I, I need to do something drastic. Why? Mike Holman dropped me as a client. You weren't even his client. You were like his Opportunity. Opportunity. Watch your back, Sal. This man loves his sportswear. Is that meant to be like an Eastern European thing? I feel like we're playing in some kind of stereotype. <laughs> Dude, this music's making me tense. It's, it's too far away, surely. Are you one of Mr. Kusno's students? Uh, oh, shit, she's gonna arrest him. LNP! Uh, stop! This is my fight song! <laughs> That's funny, that was a funny cut. It looks like they might get this guy for the fall. He might be the fall guy for the whole Barry situation. Oh, They're just going to beg the question, why did he go back to the acting school? Show me your hands! Mate, I would be very careful. Right in the gut. Oh, I thought he was going to get her then. So this could all be, uh, well, this could be his way out. But I think she will be like, why is he there? Why was he there? Maybe it had something to do with this. Huh? Think Ryan stashed it? Maybe. But one thing I do know, hmm. we didn't find $26,000 and a dead Chechen at a gym. We found him here. Sorry, sir. So we're getting very uh, tangled, in it? Are you all right? You need to go home, Miss Kusner. Am I going to see you? Go home. Dude, now is not the time. <laughs> chill, dude. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? The men in this program just, they come on too strong. What I don't get is that you made a whole thing about taking the acting class off the board. So, 
What were you doing back here? But you mind your damn business. It's over though, right? Yeah. It's over. Okay. Let's go to work. My, she always got in trouble. Why is he in like full <laughs> marine get up? I know what you were saying, but I solved our problem. This stuff is free, right? This guy's a liability. What are they doing here? What's up, dude? So you needed more manpower for a bum rush. Oh my. What the effing fuck? Check this out. Bushmaster, baby. Oh, shit. Shit. Drive. Who are these people? These people are fucking clowns. I can't believe this, man. This is getting worse and worse for Barry. Why? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. dude, 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 dude relax! Car, relax, man. man. It's not a big deal. I ain't soft. It's a little bit more than that, dude. A little bit more than that. You got a family to look after. We're going east, right? You think that story about Ralph Macchio's true? It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> what was the story about Ralph Macchio? <laughs> Whoa, what an ending. What f an ending. I feel like I ducked down. Dude. Dude. Man. I love shit. <laughs> I love how that, um, man. I love how there was just that's obviously the there would be a delay between the the, the, the flashes from the, the muzzles of the guns and stuff but and then like a little second and then <laughs> mate <laughs> dude yeah that was a crazy ending that was crazy I just got I gotta go straight into the next one gotta go straight into the next one man um yeah, I, I don't know. See you on the next one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. Boys on the road. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know.